Hey everyone, welcome to Ryan's tutorial about how to draw a floral plant. Now we're going to go over the basics of adding walls, adding furniture, and adding zones onto a floral plant. Um, but there's a whole other tutorial about each one of these topics separately. So if you want to go in more depth, make sure to check those out. Now, let's get started. I'm going to grab the wall tool from the bottom toolbar and place a wall enclosure on the canvas. Now, notice that we have what we call light beam walls in Ryan. So they're not lines, uh, rather actual walls. And if I move them, um, they move all um, in one piece. So you can see that right here. The other thing that happens automatically all at once is if you want to change the style of all these walls. So I'm going to go to the right panel and click on the style. And to edit the style of all these walls, which is now called default wall, I'm going to click on the edit button. And then you'll see I can just change it width. I can make a custom width. I can change its color right here. So super simple and easy to edit everything at once. Now let's add interior walls to this wall enclosure. I'm going to grab the wall tool again, but this time I want a different style. I want thinner walls. I'm going to go down here and change the wall style that I'm about to apply. I'll take the 10 centimeter one and there you go. Let's also add one here. Let's move this wall just a bit to that direction. And generally, let's scale this floral plan a bit because by clicking on the wall, I can see the dimensions and they're a bit small. So I can either just scale it spontaneously, select everything and choose the corner, scaling it. I can also, of course, use a more precise tool and check this one out. It's called the scale. It's on the bottom toolbar. Once I click on it, I simply follow the bottom command bar. Uh, so I'm going to pick the first point and then I'll pick the second point. And then I can either again do this um, spontaneously or I can enter uh, a number. So let's say I want this to be um, this size. Awesome. Okay, so now let's add some furniture on this floor plan. For that, I'm going to go to the top left toolbar, click on blocks and the block library. Now we have 2000 different blocks that we've made uh, just for you. So bathrooms, bedrooms, openings, um, you can scroll down or just look for the specific ones you need. Let's go for door and select from the library, the open doors and windows library. Here I have a variety of doors and windows. I'll grab these two and import them. Now, while we're here, let's grab another, um, some more types of blocks. So maybe we can look for a uh, lounge. And we also have in Ryan the single blocks. So the chair, the plant. We do also have some assemblies of full lounges, kitchens, and others. So be sure to check the libraries out. There are some good options here. Uh, I'm just going to grab a few and import them to the model. Now, uh, I'm going to exit the library and all my blocks are here on the left panel. I can simply drag and drop them. So let's start with the drawer. dragging and dropping them and placing them on the canvas. I'm going to copy this door. So I just clicked on the shortcut CC to copy and place that right here. Let's have another door over there and we can flip it um, down here. Do the same with windows. So adding a window, placing it in the wall enclosure. And you notice that it generates an open in the wall once you place them. You can also scale them. So um, really nice and fast to do that. I'm just going to grab this lounge, add it here. Not sure what the use case of this floral plan is, but I guess it's okay for our demonstration. Now adding another one, I can rotate these either using that. I can scale them and I can edit the block um, assemblies by clicking on E or clicking on the edit button and then change things around if I want to. So again, there's a whole other tutorial about blocks, how to create custom blocks, how to import your own blocks in Ryan. Uh, so feel free to check that out. Now, lastly, let's say I'm happy with my floor plan. I want to add some zones onto this floor plan. For that, I'm going to go down here uh, and choose the zone tool from the bottom toolbar and click inside these wall enclosures. Now you'll notice, first of all, that the zones have uh, the square meter count and they're in centimeters right now. By clicking on this button, I'll have the unit right here and I can change it from centimeters to whatever you're using. So inches, feet, um, I'm going to go for meters and then I have the square meter count. Now, if I move this wall, you'll notice that the square meter count adjusts accordingly. So this is also one of the light beam features. Um, and lastly, I can also edit the style of these zones. So I can either have them in different colors. I'm going to click on one and go to the right panel to see its style. I can change either everything at once by clicking on the edit style. So let's show how that would be here. I had it uh, purple, but let's say I wanted to change each one separately. So I'm going to click on one zone, 
go to the style and just give it a new style that I want to have. So this could either be a color or check out our different textures, our hatches. Um, we have different options for you to get creative with. Uh, let's go for this hatch for this one, a uh, different hatch for right here. Um, and as I was mentioning, just feel free to go in depth uh, in the style tutorial to make sure you know all the options you have and you can make this exactly how you want it to be. You can also change the name of the zone. So click on the zone and go right here to its name and you can give it the different names. So room one. So we went over the basics of how to draw floor plan in Ryan. So walls, zones, furniture. Again, there's more info about each one of these features. So make sure to either go to our documentation, DM us if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all the different tutorials in there. Bye everyone.